breaking this into a multiple video series, and uh, in this one I want to talk about how to implement the first step in creating a calm dog. And the first thing you should do is take your obedience training and go from a trick type situation. You taught your dog to sit. You taught your dog to walk nice on the leash sometimes. And you taught your dog to stay, but you haven't really implemented in your house. So I want you to start implementing those things in your home. When I got River, he has his rally type but the dog didn't, wouldn't hold a stay, he wouldn't sit, he was totally distracted, he was walking around like a crazy dog. That's over. I expect him to behave no matter what's going on. And um, it goes through to his mind and to create a nice, calm dog. You have to expect them to behave and they will behave. Um, <clears throat> I've got a lot going on here. There's a guy who just pulled in, he's gonna do pest control over there, a neighbor pulled in. Keith is down by the mailbox. Go ahead and walk by Keith and let him know. Yet River is calm. He's laying on his mat. Good morning. Good morning. We're doing good. But River is laying here calmly on his mat. He's not gonna get up. I know he's not gonna get up. Because if he did, I'd make him go right back in. So he's watching what's going on. He's watching the neighbor go into their house. He watched Keith go by, but he's not going to get up because I'm confident that my training has real world use. You have to take the tricks that you've taught your dog and move them into real life and expect the dog to do it. It doesn't, it doesn't take a lot for them to go, oh, okay, I have to do this. And you do that by taking them out and, and implementing it in the house. You know, you make them sit for for their meal. You put them on their mat when you're eating. Make them go lay down on their mat and be calm and quiet. And if they're not quiet, you interrupt them and tell them to stop it. Ah, knock it off. There's nothing wrong with going to stop it. I didn't hurt my dog. I just poked him. I told him to stop it. Well, she's going, what? What did I do wrong? He didn't do anything. But you interrupt the behavior. And you let them know that, no, they can't sit there and whine. You're not going to let them whine. You're not going to let them bark. And you create boundaries. That's the number one thing I think are missing is boundaries.